Welcome back guys to The Greatest Show on Earth and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel and today we are visiting Boynton Beach. I don't think you've got this trailer deep enough to try and walk this one up, bro. I thought for sure when I saw him pull it down here they were going to try and power on because he didn't drop the trailer very deep at all. I don't think this crew has the strength to carry this over these bunks though. They're going to try it. Let's see how this one fares for them. And they're doing everything they can to try and get it lined up on the trailer. <laughs> I still don't think they're going to be able to pull it over the initial bunks. As they weren't quite all the way in the water. Well, at least not deep enough, I think, for them to pull this on. Here we go. We're all going to give it a tug and see what happens. But I'm telling you now, you're not getting this one on, bro. You're going to have to either drop the trailer or you're going to have to manhandle this thing with some power on. Looks like the light bulb has gone off and our guy has decided that the only way he's doing this with the trailer where it's sitting is adding some real power to it. But I still think it might have just been a little easier to try and dump this trailer a little deeper because even with this power, you're probably only going to get it halfway on the trailer and then have to winch it the rest of the way up. Here we go. He's going to go for it. But you can even tell with the power of the boat. It's going on, but it doesn't like it at all. And he's still going to have to winch this a long way to get this thing on there. And with so many docks closed here at Boynton, it's kind of tough. It kind of becomes the waiting game. As everybody tries to figure out what dock to go to. Like this crew right here, they're just going to wait because the other dock's blocked. So even if you go over there, it turns into just a mess when you're trying to get your trailer back down. They need to watch out for this jet boat though. My man's a little bit all over the place. Going to be a close call. And he makes it just past him. I thought for sure for a second these guys were going to hit. And our crew's struggling right here. They're trying to get the boat on the dock. Well, really, they're trying to back the boat down the dock a little bit. So what's going on here is the truck and trailer that's in front of them is not their truck and trailer. So they're trying to back their boat down the dock a little bit and they're having a rough go of it so the other boat behind them can come in. But also trying to keep the boat from hitting the dock. I mean, some fenders probably had to help there, guys. And we got a white Lexus backing down up here with a single jet ski trailer. Let's see how they fare. But it looks like they already know they're gonna be in trouble because they already put somebody behind the car. And here we go. We're going to do the walk of shame as the white Lexus is just going to keep backing up. And our guy said, forget it, bro. You just back it up and we'll go ahead and walk this trailer down. This really is a wild day at Boyton. I just can't believe how busy it is today. You can see the line of trucks and cars. It's been absolute insanity down here. One of the things that really stinks is it's a great day for action and content. But Boyton is the worst for us on this, man. This sun absolutely gets brutal at certain points of the year and during certain times of the day. And we are at one of those points where there's not a lot we can do. We've got a filter on the camera and it's still difficult to see. Even in post, there's not going to be much more we can do to bring this and sharpen the image up. 
So they finally get the trailer down after doing the walk of shame down the ramp. And now it's time to get the ski over. And we're going to walk this over too. No power on for these guys. But this is just a weird approach. You're going to have to come from deeper beyond the trailer, bro, and push it up on. And here we can see our close call on the other side too, where our guy's finally making his approach in on the trailer for the boat. Our guy with the ski is struggling trying to get this thing onto the trailer now. Doing what they can to try and manhandle it up there. And here goes our crew trying to load after watching two or three boats load in front of them. They finally got their vehicle down here and they're ready to go. But once again, we're still struggling trying to keep this thing just barely off the dock. And Cap's gonna even leave the helm and try and give the kickoff. But that wind, it's just blowing back at us and into the dock today. It's making for some difficult situations as Cap's try to get this going. And our crew is doing everything they can to try and keep it off the dock. And my man's got the full-on splits going, pushing it off. Get behind the helm, bro. Add a little power to it. Probably a much safer approach. Somebody's going to take a swim if they keep this one up. And Cap, I mean, they're trying what they can. But he's backing up once again, and you can't do that, not with the wind and current today, because it's going to pull you right back into the dock. And here comes an officer over even to help <laughs> try and get these guys lined up and on the trailer. And here we go. Cap finally gets back to the helm where he needs to be. Applies a little power, and we're going to get it on and hopefully be able to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Holliver Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Holliver, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Holliver Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.